himself into the lead 5-3. He just needs one more in the quarter-final. Well, Mark Allen has never failed to get past the first round of the Masters in three previous appearances at the tournament so far, but he's in big trouble now. Frame nine next, Robertson at the table. He's looking at the pot here, and he might miss the black, but will he miss the reds over the right side of the table? Um, we'll find out shortly. Oh, mind you, will he pot the red? 45% is long game this evening. At last. Good shot. One. Straight in the middle of the pocket. Okay, he can't near the red, but the main thing is the priority is the pot. And his long game certainly hasn't been in tune this evening, so that was well done. Well, this is an early key shot. If he takes the black on, he can see that winning post in this match, but uh, he feels the black. Well, it seems to be the right shot to take on, but the fact that he, he thought about it makes it more difficult. If he get down straight away, I would have fancied him to pot this in. The fact that he's thought a little bit about it, it always makes it a little bit more difficult. But it is a key shot coming up. I bet you this is one he spent hours and hours practicing, though. You do with your practice routine. That's why it went straight into the centre of the pocket. It never looked like it in the duel. Eight. Yeah, he, he thought about a couple of ways of playing it. He even thought about stunning it. But that was the way I go full blooded, just play it, play and ball, and give it every chance. And. Yeah, it's a man with uh, quite a bit of confidence now, and that shot indicated that. There's only one ball difference, believe it or not, but Mark Allen's two frames behind. Thirteen. Well, he's not ideal here. Red in the centre is available, but has to be careful with his position. Straightforward to get on a on the pink, or indeed through the gap for the black. I don't think there's a gap there for him to do that. So once again, make sure you knock the ball in and. Stay on the table. Well, he's played that remarkably well. That really was a nice Thank cannon. You. Yes, he was hampered, but he had very little to do. He just had to make sure he rolled it in. But I think he got a slight heavy contact, and I think he was a bit concerned as to whether the pink was going to reach Thank the pocket. You. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, he's having it clean, so he was a little anxious, but there was enough pace on it. And the chance is now there for the Australian. And they're both still in the 90s with a pot success rate. We've mentioned a few times Neil with his long pot success rates well behind, but uh, when he gets in the balls, Thank he you. looks terrific. Yes, I think if I give him his school report, it'd be probably a D for his long game this evening, but it'd be a, an A star for his, for his short game in amongst the balls, his break building. He'd definitely get an A star for that. He'll, you know, if he gets through here, which is a long way to go yet in this, but if he does get through, he'll know that. He'll know his long game will have to improve slightly, but you can always improve when you're still in, Dennis, can't you? Yeah, the first round's always the toughest one, isn't it? 29. And his cue ball control in some of the breaks this evening has just been superb. Yes, and he's full of confidence. How many years? He's a handful. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's a pretty happy Australian at the moment. We were chatting to him at the mid-session, and we were talking about his little son, who's 18 it's months fun. old, and all about Christmas and what it was like. So, you know, he's worked so hard since he turned professional, this man. He deserves everything he gets, travelling all the way over from Australia. Had no money, his mum funded him, and it's nice when you get success stories like that all down to a lot of hard work and dedication yes and I think uh, by all accounts when he first came there was a few 43. people doubted he was ever going to be a top class professional so the hard work and the dedication and the traveling that's 44. all paid off Yeah, he started off uh, this evening with that break of 74, but then Mark Allen, well, he produced an 88 break, and then a 1-2-4, and uh, looked as if he was uh, going to take control of the match, but a few little errors here and there. That's all it takes at this standard. 52. Uh, pot success. This evening is now 94%, which is fabulous. Anywhere 90 and above is excellent. But another feature of this man's game is he's brilliant at closing matches out. Sometimes people see 57. the winning post and panic about it, but not this boy. He runs for it head first. 58. Yeah, he's got quite a spring in his step, as we mentioned earlier, but it's a great feeling when you're closing out a match, uh, especially in a tournament like the Masters. You know, it re really is a special event, and it's we keep saying it's the one that everybody wants to win. And It's nice when everything's going well for you, you're queuing well, you're knocking big breaks in. The difference 72 with just 67 on the table. So this year's Masters all over now for Mark Allen, who I'm sure will go on to win this great tournament and uh, hopefully will go on to lift a world title. Yes, the only thing missing from Mark, of course, is that first elusive win. When he gets 18. that, I'm sure. You grow even stronger, but it's difficult to get that first one, especially when you're playing people scoring at this standard. Robertson, well, 18, no century break, break, but it's been a terrific display. In fact, for both players, both Robert making Robert. century breaks, but in the end, the Australian was just a little bit too strong for Mark Allen, and he finished in style. He had breaks of 171, and that break of 80 gives him the match six frames to three. Both of us played fantastically well, first four frames. Um, I think there was sort of like a one visit um, sort of break in every frame. Uh, obviously, um, I made a really good clearance with a seven yard to go, two all. Um, then after that, the next couple of frames were a bit scrappy, but um, you know, then, then I sort of got my momentum going again, made a really good century, and um, probably the turning point in the match was when I made a great clearance uh, to go 5-3 ahead, and then um, you know, the last frame sort of knocked in a really good long red and made 80. Um, so I, I can't really fault my performance a bit too much. I missed a, you know, maybe missed a few long balls, but um, they're actually really difficult shots and I, I didn't really have too many alternatives. So, But apart from that, I'm really pleased with my performance.